Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are fantastic. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. And as always, I'm so happy to see you guys. And I thank you all for coming to hear what the Lord is saying in this moment in time. So I'm not going to hold you guys long, but I'm coming to you today with a part two. This is going to be a part two of a video that I released way back on uh, August the 28th, 2019. And this video is called Watch Your Blind Spot. I had no idea, guys, that the Lord was going to lead me to do a part two because I recorded this video like two years ago. But just this past Thursday, God instructed me to revisit this specific word because he says that it is going to bring forth a new revelation. So I have attached the first part above. I really do encourage you to watch the first part of Watch Your Blind Spot because it's going to give you an idea of what this revelation entails. It's going to give you the fullness. It's going to give you the foundation. So God says, Shanika, I want you to prophesy to your sister or your brother or both on today. Why? Because there is somebody that's watching this video and you are battling the enemy for your promotion in the kingdom. God has spoken to you about what you're going to do next. He has spoken to you about your assignment and the enemy, since he discovered that you know, he has been battling your promotion in the kingdom. So guys, during the time that I released part one of Watch Your Blind Spot, the Lord had used me to minister to many of you who were enduring hardship on your jobs. You were dealing with warfare on your jobs. You were dealing with demonic attacks. You were dealing with abuse. You were dealing with jealousy on your job and, and, and things like that at your place of employment. And the Lord was also exposing the intentions of family during that time, in addition to your co-workers. And God was placing an emphasis on connections with either family or certain co-workers that have been forming weapons against you through their communications with you over a period of time. What do I mean by that? I mean that when you were communicating, when you were speaking to your co-workers, when you were speaking to your family members, they were speaking to you as if they were concerned. And during that time, they were pulling information out of you as to use it to plot against you asked to use it to form the weapon against you, okay? That was part one of Watch Your Blind Spot. But now God is saying that this time he is using me to minister to all of you that are enduring hardships as it relates to your business, as it relates to your ministry, as it relates to to your future kingdom marriages. God is asking us to watch our blind spots because it comes from a different angle. It's not coming from the co-workers this time. It's not coming from the family members, but God is saying, watch your blind spot because the enemy is coming at you from a different angle. The Lord is saying that the weapons have been executed in plain sight. Let me say that again. God says, and he is asking us to watch our blind spots from a different angle because the weapons are being executed in plain sight. Now, in part one of Watch Your Blind Spot, the weapons were being hidden through what appeared to be friendly communications, as I said earlier, with family, with friends, with coworkers. Now God says... The enemy is using our own minds. He's using our gifts against us. He's using our talents against us. He's using the promises that God has given us in the anointing that God has placed on our lives against us. Hallelujah. So how is the enemy doing this, people of God? Well, for some of us, God has shown us our next assignment which will require our gifts, our talents, God's promises, our anointing, and having a sound mind in order to pursue the assignment and in order to complete the assignment. But somehow or another, the enemy has managed to place fear. The enemy has managed to place confusion in our minds concerning these things, lying to our minds, telling us that we cannot 
operate through what God has blessed us with. For some of us, the enemy has already began to tell us lies. There is somebody that is watching this video where the Lord has spoken to you about your assignment. And this assignment is going to require for you to speak in front of people. And somehow or another, you have not moved forward with this assignment because you are afraid that you won't speak well. You are afraid that you don't appear well. You are afraid that you're going to stumble in your speech. You are afraid that you're going to get it wrong, that you're going to mess up and the people are not going to want to hear from you. You are afraid that you are going to embarrass yourself. And God is saying that that could not be further from the truth because the anointing and the gifting and the talent that is on your life qualifies you to walk into this kingdom and assignment which the Lord needs you to be able to speak in front of people and there's another person that's watching this video and there is a sin that you were in for many years a long time and God says that you finally came to the place where you decided that you were not going to do it anymore you came to him you asked him for forgiveness and he he forgave you you repented of your sin and you even decided to take measures to live a righteous lifestyle but now that you're getting ready to go into ministry mm, now that you're getting ready to start your business, hallelujah, the enemy says that you cannot be anointed by God because of this sin. And this is even after God himself has forgiven you. This is even after you have repented of your sin. The enemy is making that sin at the forefront of your life, which is keeping you from starting that business. It's keeping you from taking that job. It's keeping you from thinking that you can have a kingdom spouse is what I hear in the spirit. God says that there is a woman of God that is watching this video. Hallelujah. And he's saying that you don't think that your kingdom marriage is possible to come because you already have a child or you have multiple children. God says that you think that your future husband is not going to accept you in your children. There's another woman of God where the enemy has convinced you that you are too old to have children for your husband because of your age, because of what the world says. And God is saying that these are absolute lies from the depths of hell. God is also saying that there is a woman of God or a man of God that is watching this. And you think that your appearance is ugly you think that you are not good enough looking for your future spouse. You're not good enough looking to do what it is that God has called you to do in this assignment. Even though he has told you in your ears, he has told you that you are eloquent. He has told you that you are beautifully and fearfully and wonderfully made in him. And for some of us, Satan has managed to execute these weapons against your relationships, against your finances, against your health, against your living arrangements, even though God said, hallelujah, that the weapons will not prosper or dictate the outcome of your promotion in the kingdom. Who am I speaking to on today? Help me, Holy Spirit. Who am I talking to today? God says, listen, watch your blind spot in this hour. Watch your blind spot in this hour, people of God. This is a crucial moment. And God is pleading for us to be mindful, to exercise discernment because our blind spots are the areas in which we are gifted. They are the areas in which we are talented. They are the areas in which we are anointed. They are our minds, which God calls us to have a sound mind, which God calls us to be at peace, where God says that he is not the author of confusion. Our blind spots, people of God, are hidden in our gifts, our anointing, the promises that God has given us, the talents that he has given us. And the enemy is trying to use these very things against us so that why so that you can't operate in them so that you will not cherish them so that you will not steward them in the way that the lord wants you to hallelujah
So people of God, the word from the Lord on today is watch your blind spot. How do you watch your blind spot? How do you watch over your gifts and your talents and your anointing in your mind? How do you do that? Keep your mind on the Lord. Keep your faith in the promises that God has spoken to you about. Keep your faith in the harvest that God said that he was going to release to his people. God is going to do what he said he was going to do. God has given you the promise because he has given you the gifts, the talents, the anointing to be able to pursue the promises. Hallelujah. God says that you will do well in anything that he has called you to do and that your gifts your talents, your anointing are specifically designed by him to fulfill the assignments that will come as you are maturing in Christ and being promoted in God's kingdom. And that is how you watch your blind spot in this hour. Do you hear me? So that is the word from the Lord on today, people of God. Before I get off of here, let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, dear Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we just love you. And we thank you that you love us more than we love our own selves. We love you, Lord God, for releasing this word to us. We appreciate your warnings, your instructions, your encouragement. But most importantly on today, we thank you for revealing our blind spots. Now that we know where our blind spots are, that they are hidden in our gifts and our talents, in our abilities, in our mind, we now have a way of being able to steward them the way you want us to steward them. We thank you, Lord, for walking with us and talking with us. We thank you, Lord, for allowing for us to have the opportunity to do what we need to do to be successful as children of the Most High God. Father, we ask that you continue to open up our hearts and minds so that we can allow for you to rule and reign in our hearts so that we are walking in all of your ways so that our spirits are open to hear your instructions. Father, we give you all glory. We thank you for being our savior, our shepherd, our king. And for many of us, Lord, you are our best friend. Father, we can't live without you. And for that, we give you all glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray amen and amen. So remember guys, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus' holy name. I thank you guys for subscribing to Shanika Byers, United for Christ. And I thank you all for subscribing to our second channel, United for Christ Prayer Room. People of God, I thank you so much for your gifts. I thank you all for shopping through our store. Understand that when you guys send these gifts and when you shop at our store, the money goes back into our community at the local homeless shelter for kids and families and men, as well as being put back into the ministry between this channel and the second channel to spread the good news, to spread the gospel, to give people the opportunity to work out their own salvation. Now, guys, I am in a period of rest with the Lord. And so I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be coming on, but I'm only going to be uploading one day per week, which will be on Mondays. So if it's the Lord's will, I will see you back next week, Monday, between 1 and 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. OK, so I just love you guys and I thank you for coming. Be blessed. Bye.